How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be talking about the first FDA-approved COVID breath test. I wanted to talk specifically about uh, this specific topic because of the fact that I absolutely hate <laughs> the nasal COVID test, and that's because if you don't, if you can't already hear my voice right now, I'm going through an allergy spike because of pollen season, but I have a slightly deviated septum and I suffer from chronic allergies sometimes. And it makes getting that nasal swab extremely painful for me. And I know a lot of my friends who have similar issues such as myself where yes, they want to get COVID tested, yes, they do it regularly, but it's always an experience that's extremely, extremely uncomfortable. And the fact that the FDA approved this in April of 2022 makes this very promising as an alternative to people who hate getting the PCR test but some want something more reliable than the rapid test. So here are the fast facts that you need to know about this newly FDA approved breath test. So the device that's been FDA approved, it's called the Inspect IR COVID-19 breathalyzer. It works very similar to an alcohol breathalyzer test and uses a very similar form of technology called mass spectrometry and gas chromatography. Those are super, super fancy words, but this technology has been around for decades, especially in the field of organic chemistry, where specific compounds have to be incredibly, incredibly pure to the dot that even the naked eye or regular machines can't detect. So it's incredibly accurate. So it looks at the gases associated with COVID-19, detects those gases, and that's how it can tell if you've been infected or not. Another really popular form of testing that's similar to this and has been shown to be incredibly effective is the H. pylori breath test for people with stomach ulcers. H. pylori is a bacteria that causes the most common co type of stomach ulcer in someone's stomach um, where it can lead to chronic, chronic gastritis, chronic reflux, and cause a lot of pain uh, to the patient. So a lot of scientists got together and created this H. pylori breath test before in the past to make it much easier to diagnose. All it does is that it detects the gas that this bacteria H. pylori creates and is able to diagnose if someone has stomach ulcers and it's incredibly, incredibly accurate. The only other way to test for stomach ulcers caused by H. pylori is actually taking a camera uh, in a tube and putting it down your throat, which is incredibly, incredibly expensive, it's inconvenient, and it just takes a way too much time when the H. pylori breath test just takes a couple of minutes. So this COVID breathalyzer takes only three minutes to detect if there is um, presence of SARS-CoV-2 in your body. In a study of almost 2,400 patients um, based on using this breathalyzer, they saw that it had a sensitivity of 91.2% and a specificity of 99.3%, which means that this breathalyzer test is very, very accurate. It actually do does a pretty, pretty good job of detecting if you might be infected with SARS-CoV-2, and it's more accurate than a rapid test. However, I do want to emphasize that still, the gold standard for detecting for COVID-19 is the nasal swab PCR test. However, if you are the type of person to somehow be limited by getting the PCR test, and, but you want something more accurate than a rapid test, this breathalyzer is a really, really good alternative. And all you'll have to do is go to your doctor who will probably have this device in the near future, and you'll just have to blow into this device and in three minutes, you'll have a pretty good idea if you have COVID or not. As far as how quickly you're going to be able to see this being offered by your doctor or large pharmacies with things like minute clinics and pharmacy clinics, that's up for debate because it's just been approved by the FDA and they haven't started mass producing it or have gotten the funding for mass production or government types of aid, like how we get with the COVID PCR tests. Uh, but this is very promising and it is a really, really good alternative solution to people who just really need another viable option to get their COVID testing done regularly. And it is much faster than the current rapid test that we have and it is much more convenient 
than the rapid test and more accurate. So I, I think this would be a, this will be a really really good alternative to people who do have access to their medical providers to get quick and easy and efficient COVID tests. Another benefit to this is that it's going to make being in hospitals and clinics much much safer because. While I've been working in hospitals and while I've been working in clinics, sometimes we get a patient that's really sick and we don't know if they have COVID or not. And they're coughing, they're wearing a mask, but they're coughing and they're sick in the same patient area as other patients are sitting. So then we can get this breathalyzer, have them blow into the breathalyzer uh, before they even enter their patient room and we can figure out if uh, the patient has COVID or not, which will protect other patients in the facility and protect the medical providers taking care of the patients because then we will have a very good idea of what kind of droplet or airborne precautions we should take when we're taking care of this patient, especially in this day and age where we have limited supplies of N95s, other types of protective gear. So this is very promising and I'm really looking forward to where COVID-19 testing will go in the near future. I hope this information was helpful. I hope this information was interesting to you. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter because this is the end of the video to keep up with my daily life shenanigans and advocacy work that I do besides making these YouTube videos free and accessible for everyone and expanding the area of health literacy. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This has been.